Lando Norris explained why he doesn't like the 2022 cars. There are a lot of changes in rules in F1, especially when it comes to cars. It is done as much as necessary most times, encompassing both car designs and the likes, with the primary reason being to ensure the safety of drivers. Every few years, FIA changes regulations that radically shift the aerodynamics or the engine. So in those cases, the teams have to build a car from scratch to adapt to the new rules. This is the case of 2022, in which the vehicles will be different from this year, with new aerodynamics, more diminutive and heavier. Welcome to another video from RacePace. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Every season means new rules and new cars most times, and the F1 world will have its greatest change yet in a while. Aston Martin has launched its 2022 Formula 1 car, the AMR22, which will be driven by Sebastian Vettel and Lance Stroll this year. With it being the first complete design released, they took off to the track that 72 years ago hosted Formula One's first ever World Championship event to compete in a shakedown of the AMR 22. Built to 2022 sweeping new technical rules after Formula One underwent arguably the most significant regulatory overhaul in its history. Red Bull has also launched its challenger for the 2022 F1 season, the RB18. The new car will be Max Verstappen's machine to defend his first F1 crown and the first to wear the number one since Sebastian Vettel used it in 2014. Like the Haas, the car is still very much work in progress, with changes expected to come before the first pre-season test later this month. Still, there are already noticeable differences to the American machine, including the lack of raised nose. McLaren also occupied fourth place to start the season with a launch. The team finished fourth in the Constructors' Championship last year, after a campaign that yielded their first win since 2012, through Ricciardo at Monza and the only 1-2 finish of the year, which was the highest they have been since 2012. With renewed hope on their MCL 36, giving drivers Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo the chance to consistently fight towards the front, they took the wraps off their new whip at Technology Center Base. The team unveiled a new design due to F1's regulations overhaul and a new color scheme on the car they say is ready for pre-season testing. Formula One's 2022 cars will look and drive ultimately differently from the old machines, as the sport heralds a new era of technological advancement. In the end, the sport hinges on each team's ability to adapt to each rule change to bring new innovative upgrades to the table. There are new sets of technical regulations for 2022, in which cars are set to be fundamentally different in philosophy to what has been raced in recent years. The intent of the new regulations is to enable cars to follow each other far more closely while also reducing overall costs by simplifying the designs overall. With years of research going into the 2022 regulations, the aim is to make the sport more equitable and sustainable, while improving the racing spectacle, making it more enjoyable and safe. Still, the whole reason for the rule change is to address a problem which has plagued the series for decades and that is to make the difficulty drivers encounter when following other cars closely. After making research, the FIA made these rules and have made the teams challenge themselves into creating something new, whether in the form of the upper surface bodywork being simplified in an effort to reduce the turbulent air generated by a leading car, allowing those behind to follow more closely. The rules even require teams to add bodywork, which is specifically intended to help address this problem. This is why new strakes extend over the inside of the front wheels, leading to a reduction in performance. However, the aerodynamic performance which is lost from the upper surfaces of the cars will be regained through the enlarged tunnels underneath. But other changes will make the 2022 machines more of a handful for the drivers. The cars will also get significantly heavier again.
facing a rise from 752 kilograms to 790 or more. It's another hefty increase, taking into account the increase in weight posed by larger wheel rims, tires, brake discs and brake ducts, and builds in some extra margin for safety structures that require more demanding crash tests, making it slower to change direction. Making matters worse, as much of the increase will arise from the move from 13-inch to 18-inch tire rims, Team's use of suspension systems to improve the vehicles are also impacted, as other rulebook revisions will reduce them. In recent years, F1 has outlawed some of the ride optimization devices teams have developed, notably Mercedes' front-rear interconnected Frick suspension. The 1.6 V6 turbo engine remains largely the same but the design of the power units will be homologated at the start of the season and be frozen up to the end of at least 2025. However, Lando Norris has expressed his concerns about the new cars. He shared that the new 2022 F1 cars are not as nice to drive as this year's, following his experiences in a vehicle simulator. According to the McLaren driver, he believes the car will feel different and harder to handle. A lot of other things that allow you to be comfortable are more of the internal side of it. Some of it, if you need confidence under braking, it doesn't always mean that the car's not good under braking. It can be the brake pedal that you have, and you're feeling with the brake pedal. Is it too soft? Is it too stiff? You know when you're about to lock up and things like that. So, with a lot of it, the car and how it's built is going to be the same. But because the cars are going to be so different, I got no idea how it's going to be. I don't know if I'm really good with it, or I'll struggle a little bit with it," the Brit admitted. I think it's going to be the same case for everyone. Everyone is going to have to adapt because it's so different. No one's driving style today is probably going to be one that you can just jump into next year and do exactly the same. You have to change a little bit. I'm not nervous, not like nerves or anything, but some question marks and thinking how you are going to have to drive. Is it going to be a driving style that suits me, like one I'm natural with, or one that I'm going to have to adapt to? Lando Norris admits that modifications to his driving style to suit the 2022 car could prove to be difficult. He admits he adapted so well to the obtruse characteristics of last year's generation of McLaren machinery. Although Norris is confident he will be able to successfully transition to cars built to new regulations that represent arguably the most significant rule changes in F1 history, he is taking a rigorous approach to his preparation to ensure that. He has mentioned how he has also shared that he has started training his driving skills. Daniel Ricciardo also made his commentary on the cars when he was asked at the launch of the MCL 36. Ricciardo replied, Race cars can be nice handfuls. If you watch IndyCar, they're wrestling them, especially on the road courses. For me, I look around and say that looks fun. So there is a nice fun and an ugly fun. And I hope this is a nice fun. If this allows us to be closer, to have a bit more of a braking zone, I hope we have to break a little bit earlier on these cars and buy ourselves a bit more distance to work with," added Ricciardo. I think it will promote not only more overtaking, but more chances of the big DRICC to come back. How do you think the recent rule change will affect the F1 sport? You can leave your answers in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. You could click on the bell icon to get more content from us. Thanks for watching.